There's a saying that goes, change is the only constant thing in the universe, but there are some who change too much. Like a caterpillar to a butterfly or a moth, some people either change for the better or worse. Think of it as Pokemon evolutions if you like. I know I do. Today we will be counting down the top 10 man to superhero transformations in movies. Before we begin, remember that I publish top 10s regularly, so be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss my new uploads. Let's go! Victor, reach right, we have less than six minutes. At number 10, we have the Fantastic Four. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger indeed. Reed Richards, Susan Storm, Johnny Storm, and Ben Grimm make up the Fantastic Four. Four individuals who were on a mission in space proposed by Reed Richards to Victor Von Doom. This was a quest to find a high-energy cosmic storm born on solar winds and to study it. Reed calculated when the next cloud will arrive, and while waiting for it, Ben suited up with the help of Johnny. He goes out to place a container with life forms so they will be able to see how they will react for being exposed to the energy. However, Reed's calculations were off, and the cloud arrived early, causing the five people on there to be exposed to it. Each of them had a different reaction, different abilities. The following days, they learned more and more about their powers in hopes to understand them better and turn them back to normal, since not everyone shared Johnny's optimism. But can you blame Ben? Who'd want to look like a giant walking orange boulder forever? Even Hulk looks better than him. And he can still turn it off. If you devote yourself to an ideal, and if they can't stop you, then you become something else entirely. At 9, it's Batman. Ah, what trauma can do to you. The Prince of Gotham, Bruce Wayne, lost his parents when he was a kid while believing it was his fault that they were killed. Carrying this weight in his heart, he runs off and started to try and understand the criminal world. Though this cause may seem noble to Ra's al Ghul, he was nothing but a scared rich boy running away from his fear and past. They recruited him and trained him. They taught him how to be stronger, to be able to fight using different kinds of tactics. They taught him the way of the League of Shadows. They taught him all he needed to know to become a vigilante known as Batman. He embraced his fear and turned it into strength. Literally, I mean. He was afraid of bats when he was a kid, and now he named himself I'm Batman. His symbol is a bat. He made the cave where the bats live as a secret base, and he even has a device that calls on bats for backup. Now that's good therapy. Oh, Jesus, a warmer table. You should really come up with a safe word, fellas. I'm thinking pork and beans. Up next is Deadpool. Talk about false advertising. This is a man who was looking for a cure for his illness so he can live a long and happy life with his true love. He did get the cure, but had major, major side effects. This is definitely a horror movie. I mean, look at him. He looks like a walking corpse with a sucked out face. Boom. Wade Wilson is a mercenary, but also just a man who fell in love. After finding out he was sick and dying, he accepted treatment, but he turned into an unwilling experiment. This experiment turns hopeless sick people into mutants, which is exactly what happened to Wade. He was strapped down in a container where there was no air. They left him there to suffocate over the weekend, which explains why he looks the way he is. Still, that torment didn't do much for his bad mouth. Oh, I'm touching myself tonight. At number 7, we have the Ghost Rider. Two words, suicidal maniac. Johnny Blaze was known to be a man who loves the thrills, and like any kid from a family struggling to make money, the parents of his love interest, Roxy, thought he was no good. Does this story remind you of The Notebook? Minus the flames of hell, of course, uh, but that seems dull. Anyway, after getting the memo that his love story was turning Romeo and Juliet, he decides to run off the sunset with his sweetheart. But life is just too cruel and things got worse for him, so he made a deal with the greatest salesman, the devil. Years later, he was supposed to go on a date with his ex-sweetheart when he started to feel hot. No, physically hot. He hears a sound leading him outside where a motorcycle was waiting for him. He hops on, but starts to feel his face burn. Like a chicken being roasted, flames covered his face and feet until only his skull can be seen. Kind of like Hades, but with no skin. Next up, it's Iron Man. Speaking of rich playboys, Tony Stark is definitely one of them, and he ain't trying to hide the fact. After the launching of Stark Industries' new weapons, Tony was kidnapped and was made to remake the very same weapons. 
but this billionaire playboy proved he's more than his pretty face. With the help of his budding inmate, they devised a plan of escape. The two started working on the first armored suit Tony would wear. This would be powered by the reactor in his chest. True, it's not as shiny as advanced as his later suits, but it was the one that started it all. Their armor is finally at the final phase and they're ready to escape, but their captors are getting suspicious of them, so they were checking on them. When the two try to distract them, they open the door only for them to be exploded away. To buy Tony enough time to build the armor and get running, Yinsen, his budding inmate, charged the enemy with a gun. By the time Tony enters the battlefield, Yinsen already died. And his first ever armor made his debut. My turn. At number 5, we have Spider-Man, a nerdy boy falling in love with the girl next door. Cliché. Add a genetically mutated spider biting the nerd? A bit more interesting. Peter Parker is a normal geek who is always being saved by his best bud Harry from being bullied, but during a class trip, he gets bitten by a spider, which you should have seen coming from the title, which altered his DNA. When he gets home, he wasn't feeling well and immediately lays down. He felt weak and the transformation was occurring. As soon as he wakes up the next morning, he notices the first side effects his sight. And as the song goes, this gave Peter the ability to do everything a spider can with a bonus package, the bod. Who said only lightning can give you abs? At least this is less painful. Goodness me. <laughs> I thought you were sick. I got better. You see? Uh. 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 Up next, we have Green Lantern. At a very young age, Hal Jordan looked up to his old man and had always dreamed of being a pilot like him. Even after his father's ill-fated death, that dream still became a reality. But never did his wild imagination give him an idea that one day he would be able to fly without a plane. With a great treat to the universe surfaced, Ab and Sir, a Green Lantern died and crashed to the nearest inhabited planet, which of course is Earth. Later on, Hal was chosen and Ab and Sir's ring was passed on to him. Hal's powers were activated after being ambushed in the alley. The ring glowed, and the next thing Hal knew, he was floating inside of a green ball of energy. He was then blasted off into space and was brought to the planet for the Green Lanterns alone, Oa. A highly advanced machine scanned his entire DNA and constructed a suit custom made for him. While there, he was inducted, meaning everything he needed to know was uploaded to his mind. Man, how students wish it were that easy to study. Anyway, he wakes up already dressed in his new outfit and was then trained to hone his ring. At number 3, we have Captain America. There are only a few who would actually volunteer to be a lab rat. I mean, who'd want to be poked around by a lot of needles? But good old Steven Rogers is one crazy guy who only dreamed of being part of the army to serve his country, even if it means being used as an experiment. He took part in an experiment to make super soldiers. They inject him with a serum for cellular change and then saturated, which are designed to stimulate growth. These make Steve experience enormous pain. But that's already a dead giveaway seeing the needles being stick to him at the same time. By 70%, they start to hear him scream from the pain, but even if the doctor wants to end the experiment, Steve insists on continuing. No! I can do this! They did so, leading him to be the first Avenger and dubbed as Captain America. Now, all the ladies are lining up to be his dance partner. But then again, if the job posting led with scrawny kid to having America's ass, who wouldn't apply? At number two, we have the Hulk. Bruce Banner, like his father, became a scientist. One of his experiments gone wrong, and to save his college friend, he tried to save him. Just like Mula Flaga in Gundam Seed, he used himself as a human shield, causing him to be exposed to a massive amount of gamma radiation. And like Mu, he didn't die, even though he should have. The only difference is, Bruce Banner became a short tempered green hunk. Later that night, he started to feel this change. He was filled with rage. He kept sweating, until his skin began to turn green and his muscles and himself were growing bigger. As the transformation was occurring, he was wrecking everything he came across, including the machine that exposed him to radiation. 
Well, now we should be careful of who we call geeks. Become the animal. Let's do this. And finally, at number one, we have the Wolverine. Speaking of volunteers, Logan became a willing test subject but with very different goals from Captain America. Cap had a noble reason while Logan was driven by revenge, and that drive made him indestructible. The love of his life Kalo was killed by his older brother Victor, so he came to the last person in his Christmas list, Stryker. His experiment used a bunch of scary looking needles to inject Logan, without sedating him by the way, with a new and even stronger metal called adamantium. And parents wonder why kids are afraid of needles. As soon as the adamantium started coursing in him, his vitals kept increasing and increasing. Stryker pushed through with the experiment, hoping that Logan's incredible ability to heal will keep him alive. When his bones were fully turned into adamantium, he flatlined for about 30 seconds until they detected a pulse. His heart rate started to rise, and there was no sign of rejection. When Stryker sees it as a success, he decides to erase Logan's memories. But this line echoed in Logan's mind, which woke him up. He stands up and escapes, but naked. So what do you think of our list? Do you think there are other moments that are more deserving to be on the list? Feel free to give your opinions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching!